Alright, all the way from Denver, Colorado, just got back from ATL. Alright, yeah, I stalked you on Facebook, that's right. Please give it up for Ruckus, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. It was fun. I got to talk real dirty. I won't do that tonight. Um, <laughs> um, but that was one of their, uh, of their other events. But um, anywho, I'm happy to be here. I wanted to come for a long time, but single mom, no sitter, that's the best combination to not be able to go to college. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so, yeah, so I'm glad I'm here. Um, Y'all will see me reach in my pocket. Don't be armed or have no weapons. Um, <laughs> I had to write down what pieces I wanted to do because it's been a while since I've been on the mic and I have ADD and I'll start doing a different poem in the middle of another poem. So um, it happens. <laughs> and, oh, they'll see it. They don't. <laughs> All right, so, <laughs> All right, so um, I try to pick my poems out of things that I saw throughout the evening for the, the crowds. So I kind of cater to what you guys like. So pretty much anything someone has said or that you guys reacted to, I have a poem about that. So this one's for. Uh, Luke eating at your house. Alright, so. <laughs> okay, so um, this is called uh, DNAN. Yes. Which is an acronym. I guess y'all can say uh, do nothing, ain't nothing. No. <laughs> no. no. <clears throat> Did you know the sound of you snapping? Sounds exactly like shaking free the last half-empty bowl of Captain Crunch. <laughs> and you only got yourself to blame for letting people take too much. See, you let the shit get too far. Now the mathematics of it all is that for one day they came, yet for four days they stayed. That one outfit somehow became four. The four then became more. They just multiplied in the two damn long. <laughs> <laughs> and now here you are. You're either a prisoner or a partial visitor to your own home because you either stay wow. in your room whenever they're there or just most of the time stay gone. Now, it's just wrong. To be a grown person, sneaking company in your own damn house. <laughs> Tiptoe and pass his jerk the foe must have been living on your damn couch whispering at him, get out. <laughs> 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 job, and if not, then at least get up on your own two feet. Do something to support the roof that's been over your head, or at least replace the food that you eat. And sadly, three quarters of us have experienced the same thing. In the summer, people come over, and next thing you know, they're still there, welcoming spring. <laughs> then they drink up all your top shelf left. <laughs> then you with Booms and McCormick's and Urban Jerk. <laughs> you get to come home from work to this mother like dead I am her. Hey, same man. I used the last of the tissue in both of your bathrooms. And I bought more, but I didn't know what brand you used. Felt like you were in that pasture. And uh, it's been getting chilly. Hope you really don't mind that I turned up your heat. Now, I know you're going to complain about your Excel bill. That's why I got you this application to leave. <laughs> wow. now, if you go in your room and it's a little out of place, don't panic. It was just me. I had some friends over, so I went in your drawer and took out about 20 sacks of so your weed. <laughs> and then when you check your stash, not only did they take your last, but they left you with stems and seeds. And <laughs> you hear this voice calling from the living room like, hey, can you loan me $40? I remember you said I'd have to put gas in it if I drove your Impala. I don't have a problem. Who <laughs> 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 your last Porch house, but I put you a plate in the oven and I'm bringing some more Kool-Aid when I get back. <laughs> Pray to God for the strength not to kill your cousin, mother, lover, close family, friend, anyone that comes to your house and their visit doesn't end. Got you getting beautiful day today, isn't it? Nice day to get a job. <laughs> nice day to get a paper out and circle some apartments. <laughs> nice day to get your dirty ass drawers up off the carpet. <laughs> Nice day to do anything you think to make a profit. <laughs> no results, so you drop it. 
Come down here, try to escape the fact of life that the house gets to wait you every day. We'll be there waiting for you tonight. And there's a lot of y'all laughing. Some people clapping. This was church you shout to. And if you're not smiling or testifying, this shit's probably about you. <laughs> And you are offended by this piece, and you've got some issues to deal with. And that's simply stated. Gentlemen and ladies, my public service announcement if you are a grown up, get your grown butt up and out your mama's house. Get right, right, right. off your people's sofa. Get up on your own, too, like a grown up is supposed to. And you, that rather shout up to the heavens instead of opening up your mouth, is a proven fact that you get half the ass and twice the bills with a D man in your house. Woo! <laughs> 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 Missing love. So I'm gonna do all right. So this is my take on on missing love when you're a writer, and the worst thing you do is you keep writing about this person. You can't you can't help it. You're a writer every time you can't help it. So this is my take on that. <clears throat> Since you've been away, I've been down and lonely, but you were sent away for a reason or two. I'm trying to understand how I keep forgetting all the hell you put me through. Cause still, ooh, I'm missing you. I started far too many days off kissing you. Guess I was getting used to having you around. And now I'm back to the sound of only my own breathing lulling me to sleep. There are no arms occasionally squeezing me, keeping me in a security that I could never find with my dad. And every now and again, I catch a hint of your scent on my sheets. Even though they've been off for weeks and it's entirely too strong, so I can't help but keep turning around to make sure that you're not there. I started to mention your name more than God's in my prayers. I constantly compare every man I meet to you. Every conversation that I have somehow leads to you. I confess I need you. Got used to sleeping and eating you. Eat, sleeping, and drinking you. If you'd have cut me, hell, I was bleeding you. You even talked me into a seed or two. See, me and you, we had a friendship, but that shit got out of hand. So that had to end with me washing my hands, packing your bags, filling them with the confirmation that we are no longer friends. The ashes from all of the bridges you burned and the blood that spilled from the hands that you bit while they fed you. And somehow I still let you occupy the darkest corners of my mind. I keep hearing your laughter and in my dreams I'm seeing your eyes and my creativity is affected. I sit down to write and my fingers walk in your direction. I took care of your erection but I managed to let you sex my mind without protection. And so I now I'm affected. And it's some lifetime type shit. Its symptoms consist of insanity, insecurity, and a hint of bitterness. The inability to rationalize situations such as this. The temptation to slap the shit at you and your brand new chick. And out of everything that goes through my mind, you know what the worst thought is? That I hate you too much to miss you like this. And I am sick of being pissed that they failed to test that you would have passed that. And I'm sick of being mad that they don't laugh at what you laughed at and you continually fuck me over. Excuse me, sorry about that. And I repeatedly look past that until you backed me into a corner until I finally said, that's that, I'm done. And I'm standing swaying before God, so help me if I so much as even speak to you again. But I guess from here on in, I'll be consciously trying to forget all about you while being constantly reminded through my pain. Mm -hmm. 